David Smith here with another Flip Classroom Math video. A few tips before we get started. Remember you can always pause the video if you need to catch up with your notes. You can also speed up or slow down the playback if that helps. Finally, you can turn on the captions so you can see my words going by at the bottom of your screen. Today's topic, quadratic optimization word problems. So for those of you who are wondering, where does the math show up in reality, we're going to do that today in this lesson. Okay? So optimization refers to finding the maximum or minimum value for a given situation. Now, uh, to do that, we're going to consider our quadratic equation in standard form. And here's, here's the information that you're going to need. The maximum or the minimum is the value um, of y when x is minus b over 2a. So I'm going to ask you that. Why is that true? Pause the video and just think about that a little bit. See if you can figure that out. OK, so let's see how you did. Do you remember what this little equation gives us? That's the x value at the vertex. So the vertex is either the maximum for a parabola that opens down or the minimum for a parabola that opens up. So it's, it's the vertex. OK? I need my x. There we go. OK, so to find the max or the min, we need to find the y value at the vertex. So what we're going to do is we're just going to take our a, b, and c, actually just the a and the b, find the x value at the vertex, then plug that x value in for x here, and then find the y value. And that is your max or your min. OK, let's do a problem. Here's my function, h of t. So what that means is height as a function of time. This kind of a function comes up really commonly in physics. So if you're taking a physics class right now, or you're going to take a class of physics in the future, you're going to be all over these kinds of equations. So height as a function of time, here's my function, 100t minus 5t squared. Now, I've got this little condition here. t is greater than or equal to 0. Think about why I don't want negative numbers for t. OK, the reason is that we're not going to go backwards in time. We're only going to need forward values. Otherwise, the rocket is sitting there 10 seconds before launch, 9 seconds, 8, 7, blast off. So we're really only concerned with time t equals 0 and forward in time. So that's why we have t is greater than or equal to 0. And this equation shows the rocket's height as a function of time. And remember, we we're talking about optimization, trying to find the max or the min. So let's rearrange this equation, put it in standard form, and then we'll get, get working on it. This is a pretty easy step. Standard form requires this to be in front. So we have minus 5t squared plus 100t. Now remember, to find the x value at the vertex, we plug in this equation, x equals minus b over 2a. So in this case, we're going to have minus 100 over 2 times negative 5. So that's going to give us minus 100 over negative 10, which goes down to 10. Now, what does that 10 mean? Remember, we have a word problem here, so we have a real situation. So we have units on this. Now, I haven't told you what the units for t are. Very commonly, they're seconds. So I'm going to write here, t equals seconds. So I'm going to write 10 sec right there. So what this tells us is that the x-coordinate at the vertex, remember this, this rocket is going up and then down. So we found the x-coordinate at the vertex. It's 10 for 10 seconds. OK, so now we can answer this question. What is the maximum height of this rocket? So what we do is we take our 10 seconds. We know that that occurs at 10 seconds. We just don't know what the height is yet. Now our function gives us height as a function of time. So what we do is we take our 10 seconds, we plug it in where t shows up in the equation, and we solve to get y. 
So here's how I write this. H of 10. What that means is height at 10 seconds. Now I'm going to plug it into my equation. I have minus 5 times 10 squared. And what do I get over here? Plus 100 times 10. Okay. Now we can work this. H of 10 equals, so 10 squared is 100 times minus 5 is minus 500 plus 10 times 100 is 1,000. So this is going to equal 500. Now in this equation, or this function, I didn't give you the units for height. So h equals feet. Very commonly it's feet, but also look out for the metric system. You might get meters. So the max height occurs at 10 seconds and it occurs at 500 feet. So I can write here 500. Okay, so another question you might get in this kind of a problem is when does a rocket fall back to Earth? Okay, so I want to take a look at my graph I made right here. Let's put the axis on it. So X and Y. And now we know that this occurs at 10 seconds and it's at 500 feet, okay? So here's the upside down parabola that this equation represents. Let's take a look at our function too. We have minus 5t, so this is the a term on our quadratic term. It's negative, so that means the parabola opens downward and it means that the vertex is a max. So that confirms what we already know about these kinds of equations. So when does it fall back to Earth? Pause the video for a minute and think about how you would solve that, how you would find when the rocket hits the ground. Okay, so the important insight here is that the height is zero when it hits the ground, right? The height is zero here when it's first launched, and then the height is zero here again when it hits the ground. So in our function, h of t, that's height. We're going to set it equal to zero. Zero equals 100 t minus 5 t squared. And now we just have to solve this for the values of t that make this equation true. So let's do that. I'm going to rearrange my equation into standard form, just like we did before. Okay, so now we just need to solve this for t. Notice how there's a GCF in both of these. Pause the video, see if you can figure out what that GCF is. Okay, if you found minus 5t, you got that right. So we have 0 equals negative 5t times t minus 20. Okay, so this switched signs because I'm factoring out a negative 5t. Continue on. Now, here's the thing. If that term is 0, then the whole thing is 0. If that term is 0, the whole thing is 0. That's a zero product property. So now I can just... I have two equations to solve. I have this one, minus 5t equals 0. Divide through by negative 5, t equals 0. That's my first solution. My second one is t minus 20 equals 0. So this ends up being t equals 20. So here are my two solutions to this quadratic equation. Let's pause for a second and take a look. That makes sense. The solutions represent where it crosses the x-axis. And indeed, it does hit the x-axis in two places, so I have two values for that. Since this is a word problem that reflects reality, these answers need to make sense, okay? So at zero seconds, is the height really zero? Yeah, it's right there. It's on the ground. And then at 20 seconds, it's also on the ground. So we could do 20 there, okay? So now we've shown the full path of the parabola. Now here's something to note. The distance from the first x-intercept to the vertex is the same as the distance from the vertex to the second intercept. Remember, parabolas are symmetrical around the vertex. The axis of symmetry goes right through there. That's the symmetry axis. So you can always check your work by making sure that your vertexes are equidistant from, I'm sorry, that your intercepts are equidistant from the vertex. So to finish this, the question was, when does a rocket fall back to Earth? That's after 
20 seconds. So this is not an answer to this problem based on what you're being asked. When does it fall back to Earth? So if you said at 0 seconds and 20 seconds, you might lose a few points if that were a quiz or a test question. Now that you've watched the video, take a moment and write down any questions that you might have so you can bring them to our next class. Remember that you can always watch the video again and perfect your notes. Finally, if you enjoyed the video, please click the like button down below. And if you'd like to help me grow my YouTube channel, please click subscribe.